Oh, it's recording. So basically one of the things that I love to do when I'm bored is uh, I like to go on Google and then start writing out a question and then see what it suggests. Like what it, it tries to guess what question you're asking um, just based on uh, popular questions that other people have asked. So I found that there's actually a lot of people that have uh, asked some pretty embarrassing questions on Google. Let's uh, start it out with, uh, <clears throat> why does my dog, why does my dog eat poop? Why does my dog lick me so much? That's uh, okay. Okay, let's try why are my nipples? Why are my nipples purple? <laughs> Why are my nipples so tender? <laughs> I don't know, I just think, when I think tender, I think of like meat, uh, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and try a really, really basic one. Just ask why and see what the most popular questions were. Why do men have nipples? That's the, the most asked question on Google, apparently. Why do men have nipples? Why does my, all right. That's uh, very inappropriate. Why is my poop green? What? Okay, do you guys have green poop? Because apparently, of all the questions people ask on Google, green poop is a very popular subject. Why can't I own a Canadian? What? <laughs> Do you guys understand this one? <laughs> Let's try, is it possible to? Is it possible to curve a bullet? Is it possible to have purple eyes? What? All right, let's try, why does my mom, why does my mom hit me? <laughs> oh, oh, that's bad. Why does my mom always yell at me? Why does my mom turn me on? Oh my God. <laughs> Why is that so highly searched? Oh, that's gross. Why does my mom call me fat? You guys have some messed up moms. Why does my mom fart so much? Let's regress into the third grade and uh, try. Why is my poop? Okay, whoa, 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 all right. Why is my poop green? Why is my poop black, white, blue, yellow, orange, red, bright green? Why is my poop, it's like all the colors of like a, a basic Crayola box. Seriously, who's had an orange poop before? Like, what, were the, what the hell were these people doing? Like eating like different colored Play-Doh or something? How can I get, how can I get a bigger booty? Why do I, why do I have green poop? See, there it is with the poop again. Why do people have like weird colored poops? You know, after all this talk about um, green poop, I think I'm gonna go ahead and find out why people's poop is green, so I'm feeling lucky. Tell me why my poop's green. All right. In the past 48 hours, I have only eaten Lucky Charms with soy milk, a bean burrito, Two Diet Cokes, two Excedrin PMs, a pack of soy sausages, and a coffee. That is my normal diet. Interesting. But now my poop is totally green? Help! You know what? I don't think I want to know. How about you guys try out my little experiment and uh, see what you get. Leave a uh, comment down below and uh, Tell me what interesting things you search for and what sweet answers you guys got in return. Tune in next Friday for episode dose of Ian is Bored. And uh, until then, peace! That's my peace sign. You know you like it. You know, people have said a lot of really mean, mean things what? to me over. I'm not talking to you! Uh, 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 uh. My goal is to try to build a Jenga tower from the table all the way up to the ceiling. You know, I kind of feel like the odds are against me, but I don't know, if I stack, if I just start stacking it up like, you know, like that, you know, maybe it'll work, so, yep.
Wish me luck. Oh, gee. look, I couldn't even put two on there. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. There we go. That gives us some bricks to work with. You know, I'm starting to think that these, these things aren't entirely uh, the same size. But you know what? It's part of the challenge. Okay, that's not gonna work because I'm almost done with one of the things. <laughs> ah! Start a little bit more, more bare bones. Let's just go two by two. See, I want to put like one, one of these on here every single time, every like three, so it stables out a little bit more. I honestly have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's see how high it is. So one, two, three, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Oh no! <laughs> oh crap! Well, uh, it was the size of 12 avocados. So that's cool, I guess. Is it just me or is it leaning a little bit? Oh! I called it. I called it. I called it, didn't I? So I failed again. But you know what? I'm not a quitter, okay? I'm gonna make this happen. I'm gonna get it to that roof, ceiling, if it's the last thing that I do. Okay? Okay then. Even if this video is gonna be 24 hours long, you guys are gonna have to stick through it just to see if I do it or not. I'm sorry. You have to. You made a commitment. Well, I effed up. Oh, I was so close. Ah! Ah! <laughs> well, I have great news. This is my current record. Look at that. It's a uh... Higher than the chandelier, booyah, and look at that awesome chandelier. Dragonflies, bitches. Uh, the only problem is I appear to have ran out of Jenga pieces. Maybe I could do like a clean swipe and then knock like a single layer out and I'll just go. Oh, that actually kind of hurt my hand. Yeah! Every single Jenga piece used. Booyah! Well, that was intense, so, uh, yeah. Penguin attack! Um, anyway, that was uh, episode two of Ian is Bored. Tune in every Friday for another episode until I run out of things to be bored about, but I doubt that's gonna be anytime soon. Bye. Hey, so the Olympics are here now, and I decided to have a little, little uh, I said ladle. So to celebrate the Olympics being in season, I have decided to uh, highlight a sport that I think should be in the Olympics for the next three weeks for the uh, Ian is Bored thingy that I'm doing. So let's check out this first sport. So the Olympic sport that I think should be in the Olympics this week is uh, speed drawing. Uh, it's not very athletic, but I believe that it'll cater to the artistic types. The competitors will have one minute to draw a drawing. So let's get started. Okay, first one I'm doing is Obama. Clock starting at one minute. Here we go. Okay, what the hell? All right. I don't really know what I did down here. It kind of looks like I made him a clown. I could go on forever on what things that are wrong with this thing. Wow. Okay, next one, the Eiffel Tower. One minute on the clock and go. Yeah! 
All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say that, you know, I, w I wouldn't quite say I'm a professional artist. I think this would go for a couple million, yeah. Okay, so the third one we're doing is a lemur. They come from Madagascar, quick fact. Anyway, one minute on the clock and go! I'm at a loss for words. This looks like some kind of messed up Halloween costume. I think I did some really excellent shading right here. Okay, so this last one we're gonna do is Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. <coughs> Excuse me. And one minute on the clock, and go! I have no excuses. One thing that's really bothering me is the fact that I didn't finish off his hand. There we go, now I'm happy with it. So I think we all learned a very valuable lesson today. Um, speed drawing is definitely not an Olympic kind of uh, sport. Um, but anyway, uh, go ahead and tune in next week for the next episode of Ian is Bored. I'm gonna be doing another Olympic themed video. So just uh, wait and see what I come up with next, I guess. We'll see you later. Hoya, 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 hoya! I don't like the car. Why do I sound like a female poor rat? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ian is Bored, the uh, second in the Olympic themed series. So last week I did a thing about speed drawing and people were complaining that, you know, that's not athletic. So I decided this week to do um, something that involved uh, beating the crap out of people because that sounds pretty athletic, right? So um, we're going to be having a little Street Fighter 2 tournament. Okay, who should I play as? I think I should probably be Ken since he's from the US. I mean, this is the Olympics, so I gotta represent, you know? All right, come on. Oh, we're going to India, all right, all right. Get ready to get it, Baldi. Oh, what's that, you're, you're stuck in the corner? You don't like my fist of fire? All right, round two. You're going down, Dalsim. No, oh, yeah! Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, attack me if you dare. I will crush you. <laughs> I, I, I think that was supposed to be Ken's voice. Oh, going to China, fighting Chun-Li. All right. Those guys selling chickens back here. Hey, after you finish the battle, buy my chickens. Oh, dancing, dancing Ken, dancing Ken. Come on, Chun. No. Oh, what, whoa, whoa, hold on, what? We both, we both died. Like this, I like Ken's attack. <laughs> Let's go, you little over-roided Ruski. Oh, this guy's scary. No! I want it to be known that D Zangief is my most feared opponent. You make the move, huh? I'm just gonna stay here and go like this. I'm the dance. Oh! Damn you, Zangief! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away now! Oh! What? Oh! Come on, you commie bastard! No! Ah, my strength is much greater than yours. Yeah, cause I'm not doing roids, you butthead. Getting revenge on your ass. No! No, no, stop it! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Look at this guy drinking vodka. All right, I'm not gonna give up. That's not the American way. No! No! You're going down this time, I swear. No! No! Stop doing your little 
Soviet wrestle moves. No, stop it! I love your hair, Ken. It's very stylish. It's kind of like a roided up Owen Wilson. No! Oh my god! Thank you, I'm gonna kill you! Not quitting now, not quitting. No, 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 come on, 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 chameleon. Oh, no, come on! No, yeah! How you like being thrown, bitch! No! <laughs> you got Santa Claus over here in like some sort of like sweatsuit get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, oh no! All right, you know what, guys? I am sick and freaking tired of losing to freaking Zangief. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! Come on, Chun Li. No! Santa's like, woohoo! Yeah! I like this! No! Oh my god! You know, this was supposed to be a video about me kicking ass at Street Fighter, and it's not working out too well. Come on! No! <sighs> oh! Come on! Oh! Oh no! Oh. No! No! Stop twisting my nipple! Alright, uh, let's go, Guile. Stab him with your flat top. Kim oh, no, no, no! Oh! Oh! Let's go, punk sucker! No! No, 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 no! No! no. <laughs> oh! Crap. I shouldn't have done that. Come on, fatty. Oh, no! Oh! No! Oh, my God! No, 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 oh my god. No! Stop touching my man boobs! No! No, Dulcim! No! Zangief, you roided out bastard! No! Oh! Oh my god, look at his leg, it's like broken! No! No! I, I can't, I can't do it anymore, I, I just can't. Um, I'm getting so hard by that Russian guy, that sounds really wrong. Uh, but I, I just can't, I can't do it anymore. So, go ahead and leave me comments down below, tell me what game frustrates you the most, because I'm about ready to chuck that thing out the window. Also, what, what would you like to see from Ian is bored? What would you like to see me do? Because I'm bored all the time, and I am always up for suggestions, so. Leave that in the comments down below as well. See you later. Hopefully I won't fail so much next time. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Bye. See, now I'm just gonna use this for the intro. <laughs> Welcome to the third Ian is Bored Olympic themed Ian is Bored episode. Sounded a little redundant, doesn't matter. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing improvisational dance because I feel like that should be in the Olympics, right? You know, because who doesn't love dancing? So let's let's watch me fail. Because I'm gonna fail really, really hard.
hope you guys enjoyed that video because you know when I fell down on the ground I was dead for like 30 seconds. I had to be revived. It was, it was really bad. Um, so anyway, leave your comments down below. Give me your ideas of what you think I should do in the next Ian is Bored videos. And when this hits YouTube, I want to see your improvisational dance skills. So leave a video response down below. Bye! Warning, the stunts you're about to see in this video were performed by a professional. If you try this at home, you will most likely die, so don't do it, okay? You know, these are really freaking big. Hey guys, so I'm bored, as usual, and so I was looking through the comments for some suggestions on what I could do, you know, being bored and all, and so I saw a couple of you guys suggested something called uh, Chubby Bunny. Apparently you try to see how many marshmallows you can shove in your mouth and still be able to say Chubby Bunny. So let's give that a go, shall we? Okay, so I got a full bowl of marshmallows. I'm ready to do this. Uh, as you can see with my uh, marshmallow face, I already tried once and kind of failed. <laughs> but who says I'm quitting now? <laughs> so hopefully this time goes a little better. Here we go. One, chubby bunny. Two, chubby bunny. Three, chubby bunny. Four, chubby bunny. Five. Turn Okay, so it seems like 11 is my limit. Hey, so this was actually supposed to be a different ending where I suggested that you, you know, put as many marshmallows in your mouth as you possibly could and try to beat my uh, record. But I had my crack team of 20 lawyers look at this and they told me, I probably shouldn't do that just in case you die and try to sue me. So whatever you do, do not do it. You could die. So just leave me some comments on what you think I should do uh, for the next scene this board. See ya. You could die. We're gonna merge. What do you think, Anthony? I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna survive this. We're merging. Don't do it. We're merging. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're merging. Don't do it. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ian is Bored. As you can see right now, I am driving. Me and Anthony, my pal Anthony right here. Uh, we're driving and we're both bored because we gotta drive for like six hours. So, uh, hopefully there'll be something in this video that we can do. All right. Yeah, because I'm bored as hell. Yeah, he's, he's bored as a MF'er. California, the only place you can find pink trees. California, our skies are gray. California, the only place you can see that guy. Oh boy, you wanna go to a corn maze? Okay, Anthony, quick, first word that comes to your mind, Saddam. Pineapple. First word that comes to your mind, uh, seesaw. Horse. They have no respect. And I think he said something about my mom. Hey, buddy. Wave. Wave. They waved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Victory. Kind of 
look scared though. They look mean. They do. I think they're gonna, gonna beat our butts. Away from the class, though, they're getting off. They're probably getting their guns. Getting off. Getting off. Getting off. Wave hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Old people. Hi. Look. Oh my God. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. This guy doesn't say hi. What are you gonna do? He doesn't say hi. I'm gonna say hi to them more. <laughs> Hey girl, hey! Hey, what's your number? Call me! Call me, the one in the passenger! <laughs> Did she look? Dude, I, think I, I gotta get that MILF's number. Oh yeah! Matt, since when did Aladdin have his own semi truck? Is it up? Oh, heavenly sunset! The coolest art ever! Silver rocks! Oh, shit. I don't want to get in the car accident. Well, so I'm sorry to say, but I kind of failed at doing my whole vlog thing on the road because we're actually on our way back. We're almost back right now. It's uh, nighttime, as you can see. And uh, so I guess it's kind of an anticlimactic ending. No exciting uh, people exploding or anything like that. Uh, so go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think uh, would be an amazing thing to do on our next road trip. And go ahead and leave me other ideas of what you think I should do in the next Ian is Bored episodes to come. Oh, and here comes Anthony right now. <laughs> hey, he looks so... He's a birdie. Hey. Hey, Anthony. Hey. Hey, well, actually, don't say hi. Say bye. It's the end. Oh, bye. Wah, wah, wah. California. The only place you'll find... <laughs> I think they are retarded. Howdy there, you like that? It's my invisible hat. Welcome back to another episode of Ian is Bored. Unfortunately this week we had to film like four videos so I actually didn't have much time to be bored and thus didn't have much time to make an actual video. So the following you're about to see is an awesome song I made just for yours truly. Enjoy. Boom, ch -ch. boom, 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 ch -ch. Worst video you have ever seen. Hey, what's up? You just probably didn't see me until now. Sorry, I kind of suck at this one person video thing. I'm catching on, but I'm a little slow. What did you think of my four horsey friends? They like to sing and they're a little bit better than me. I just got something in my eye. I don't know what it was, but now it's not in my eye anymore. These four horses they're all crossing their arms like they're angry. This guy though, he's kind of like, I think he has a birth defect. That's kind of sad because birth defects are sad. This will be the end of the video. I'm gonna back out of the frame now
Horsey. So what do you think of my American Idol material? I think so. Uh, so go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think I should do for the uh, next Ian is Bored episodes. And I guess I'll see you later. I think I saw Anthony walking by. Oh, oh he's going in the bathroom. Huh. He's going to do some private things in there. <laughs> Probably just going to take a piss. Bye. What's happening, Smoshers? Today I'm going to be prank calling a very popular YouTuber by the name of Ray William Johnson. If you don't know who he is, links in the sidebar or bottom bar, whatever the hell the bar is. All Ray knows is that I'm pitching him a very interesting proposition. What he doesn't know is that I'm asking him to be a part of a movie that doesn't in real life actually exist. Oh yeah. And the movie is the plot of Battlefield Earth, which is considered to be the worst movie of all time. So, let's see how that goes. Uh, not much. I think, I think Will mentioned something to you uh, earlier. I said that I had some, uh, an interesting proposition for you. Would that interesting proposition involve me getting up and putting my pants on? Because I don't really want to do all that. Uh, no, it's okay. You can go pantsless. I mean, you could, you could even have this conversation naked. It's all good. Okay, um, are you familiar with, uh, Joe Carnahan? I'm not. Okay, he's, uh, he's this, uh, director guy. He came from Sacramento, which is where I'm from. Uh, he did, uh, Smoke and Aces. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, of course. Like, Narc? Have you heard of that one? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I guess he's doing, like, the A-team and stuff. Um, anyway, so, I was talking to him, and, and I guess he's, uh, working on a new project, uh, another movie. And, uh... I, I was talking to him about you and like how you're you know blowing up on YouTube and stuff, and uh, he seemed like really interested in maybe having you uh, play a role in the movie. <laughs> All right. Um, did you want to? Did you want to hear a little uh, synopsis of it? I I got some just a little bit of info right here. Uh yeah yeah sure. Okay. Yeah, okay so um it's it's based in the year uh, three thousand. And uh, it's it's a sci it's like a sci-fi action sort of movie. Okay. Um, it's based in the year three thousand, and um, humans have been sort of like enslaved for like a thousand years um, by like uh, like an alien race called the the Cyclos. Okay. And the main character, who's this guy, you know, he he basically forms an uprising, and uh, they use. Um, I guess they use like Harrier jump jets, and they they eventually um, manage to defeat the uh, you know the evil uh, alien race or whatever, and then use a, the the aliens' teleportation device to nuke the aliens' homeworld. So that's that's the basic sort of synopsis of it. What do you, what do you think? What well, I think of the story? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand. I understand. I mean, I mean, do you like? Okay, so basically, are you comfortable with um, full frontal nudity? Somebody else's or my own? Um, well, I mean, if 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 it's too much of a problem, I, I, he said that he could get a body double. Basically, um, you're sort of the romantic interest of of the main character. Uh, not quite. It's actually, the way it's written right now, it's actually a guy. Oh, nice. Um. Gotta show my junk. Yeah, are you, are you comfortable, are you, no, it's a human. <laughs> you know, I don't know if that's something that you're okay with. I mean, full frontal nudity, gay scene, I know it's, and I know it's kind of a lot to go into, like, in, like, your first, like, sort of film debut, but I didn't know how committed you, you might be. <laughs> okay, so, so I, I'm playing a gay character. Yeah. Um, am I, am I, am I a top or am I a bottom? 
I, you know, I haven't read that much into the script. It's kind of taking uh, quite a leap because, I mean, nobody's really done sort of like a a sci-fi sort of thriller with with uh, you know a gay protagonist. There hasn't been a time when a when a great actor didn't take uh, sort of a risk to possibly further his career. You know, Rain Man. Uh, you know, uh, I am Sam. You know. And then, and then there's you. You might possibly be. I mean, yeah, you have you have more of a you have more of a role. And, and oh, um, the the main character is slated to be uh, Jason Statham, but because uh, because Joe Carnahan's worked with him in the past. Um, yeah. Understand. Uh, there, there is one thing though. Okay. Um. Yeah, the whole thing was kind of a lie. I was uh. I was I was I'm filming it for an episode of Ian is bored. Nice. <laughs> you got smashed, yo. and leave me a comment. Uh, tell me what you think I should do for uh, the next coming Ian is Boards because I'm always open to suggestions. And I guess I will whoop, see you later. Parkour roll cam! Ugh. Yeah, oh, ow! Welcome to another episode of Ian is Boards. So I've been doing this thing for like two months or so, something like that. I don't know. And I've been looking at you know all the comments and stuff, and the most requested thing for some reason is parkour. So let's do some parkour action. For those of you who don't know, parkour is also known as free running, where you try to get from one point to another as quickly as possible, and also establish it as possible involving rolls, tucks, and other cool things. So enjoy.
So parkour was a little bit harder than I thought, but I'm pretty sure I nailed it. Go ahead and leave any uh, comments or suggestions down below. And I will see you later. Bye. Hope you're ready for a bunch of F-bombs. Hey guys, so today's Ian's board is going to be a little bit different because I was watching American Idol last night and Rihanna was performing live and I noticed something very similar between me and Rihanna. And so I have to say this, this one single thing to Rihanna, okay? F*** you! You took my f***ing hair! This, this right here, it's my hair! It's not yours! You can, yeah, I'm sure you have like a lot of like hairstyles and stuff, okay? This is just me. This is something that I've worked on for years! I've worked years on this, Rihanna! So don't take my fucking hair! I mean, look at these photos. Look at them. They're the same goddamn hair! This is ridiculous! I just bit my tongue. Thanks, Rihanna! There's a million other different kind of hairstyles you can put on. So don't take mine! You know, you can sell like a million copies, whatever, of music. I don't care. That's, that's your thing. But when you take my hair and you put it on your stupid face, that pisses me off. See, now I'm losing my goddamn voice because you took my goddamn hair. You know what, guys? I want you to go to Rihanna's Twitter, at Replier, tell her that Smosh Ian says, F*** you, Rihanna. Rihanna. You better hope I don't ever see you in person. I'm pissed. And you know what? I demand an apology. Anyway, guys, um, give me any more suggestions for, for real Eunice Board videos. I'll, it'll be back to normal Eunice Board next week. I'm just so fing pissed! Bye! Ian, do something funny. Hey guys, so in this episode of Ian is Bored, we're going to be looking back at a clip that was sort of filmed on the side when we did the uh, video where we donated $10,000 to uh, charity. So basically what happened was I was dressed up like I was supposed to be stranded on an island and then it turned out that I kind of looked like I was like a, a hobo Amish guy. So what you're about to see is not scripted or anything, it's just like Anthony told me to do something. And so I, I did it. So if it sucks, I'm sorry. And if you enjoyed it, then uh, you're weird. All right, enjoy. You can't just tell me to be funny. Hey, Amish man, what are you doing on this island? Oh, Amish man sitting on an island. He got exiled from Pennsylvania because he <laughs> three women and <laughs> isn't funny. <laughs> Amish man, Amish man. He killed three bison and Amish man, Amish man, there was a bug on his back. Amish man went to the country, then he killed some more people. Amish man loves to make his own bread. Amish man, Amish man, he made three houses then broke them down. Amish man, Amish man, he has three sons. Two of the sons are twins and they have five fingers out of both of his hands this should normally have ten Amish man Amish man he has a beard and that's cool because beards are super cool and he has a blue shirt <laughs> yay <laughs> all right that was stupid so that was it so if you enjoyed it that's great if you didn't F you that was weird um, so anyway, give me any more suggestions for Ian's board. I'm always open for them, for the suggestions. And I will see you later. Bye. Yeah? Today I'm going to be doing uh, upper body exercises because I don't remember the last time that I did any sort of exercise whatsoever other, other, other than running. I'm stuttering like crazy. Uh, so anyway, so I'll be doing push-ups, sit-ups, that kind of stuff. You guys are going to guess how many I can do. I'm going to guess how many I can do and then we will find out. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is push-ups. I honestly don't remember the last time I did a push-up. I'm going to say my guess is 30. What do you guys think? Oh, 
Oh. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna be doing sit-ups. So I'm gonna think I can do around 53. What do you guys think? So I completely lost count. Apparently I'm only able to count about up to 30 before I start forgetting. So uh, I guess I'll just look at it uh, when I'm editing and I'll leave the total right here. Whoa, I got that many sit-ups? Whoa, did you guys guess that? That's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna do curling. Unfortunately, we don't have any dumbbells, so I'm just gonna curl this, this half full gallon thing of milk. I, I think maybe I could do 30. What do you guys think? Here we go. I think, I'm, I think it's 80, but I'm, dude, I have such bad, like, ADHD, I just psh, stop counting. Alright, so this next one that I'm gonna do is pull-ups. When I was a freshman in high school, I couldn't even do one, so let's see how many I can do now. Okay, so for the last challenge, I am going to try to see how long I can keep a kid above my head. So let's, let's go get a kid. What do you mean I can't lift your kid up? Come on! It's perfectly safe! Come on! Dick? Well, I guess that was kind of an anti-climax, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, me making complete ass out of myself this week. And uh, look forward to it next week. Go ahead and leave me any suggestions you might have for the uh, future episodes of Ian's Board. So I will uh, catch you later, upside down. Blah. That is a shovel. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ian is Bored. So this week, I was looking through the computer and I found this old clip of me and Anthony trying to uh, do like a little rehearsal of the Boxman for President song. And it's pretty bad, so uh, check it out. My name is Boxman, I'm running for press. I know I'm gonna win, cause I'm better than the rest. I'm here to fix the US, so don't get stressed. And I'm the best dressed, but I digress McCain's not the best, I must confess Now let me try to express my detest One, he's bald and stanky Two, he's old and cranky Three, he's got hair on his back And four, he smokes a lot of crack As you can see, John McCain is a joke He's in his mid-70s, he's bound to have a stroke The other candidates will feel the pain When I blaze the trail with my campaign Boxman is running for president. Boxman is the number one candidate. Boxman will give the can check and box. Boxman is the only man in a box. Yeah, see it, Boxman. Take it away right now. Rock Obama's not the right choice either If it was up to me, you'd vote for neither But McCain and Obama should get the axe Just let me tell you these Obama facts One, he's got a chubby belly Two, his pits are really smelly Three, Osama's his brother And four, he slept with my mother 
sucks, man. This sucks. <laughs> We're supposed to be dancing right now. Yeah, trust me, you guys don't want to see the rest of it. it it's bad. It gets, gets really gruesome. There will be a real Ian is Bored next week where I'm actually going to do something instead of just show you some old recycled clips. Give me suggestions down below, and then I will Whoa! see you later. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Ian is Bored. Have you ever been on an airplane? Have you ever seen the Sky Mall magazine? Like, let's say that you, you went to a mall and then everything in there was overpriced and really crappy. This is the Sky Mall. So let's check out some of this really crappy stuff. Oh my god, these shoes have springs in their heels. Oh, and why does their logo look like a, like a little sperm thing? Okay, uh... Honestly, I thought this thing was a mind reading device of some sort. Oh my god! I totally need this because I need to adjust the level so my so my dog doesn't hurt his poor back. It's a fucking dog! Ooh! A crystal ball? Cool! How much is it? Oh, $90. Okay, this is pretty sweet. Life-size statue of Anubis. Oh, and, and for the, the low price of $1,250. All right. You know, I'm all for safety and everything, but eh, this thing says keep your family safe, and they're climbing out of a window on the most rickety rope ladder thing I've ever seen. This Even this kid's like, F that, I'm not going down there, I'm just going to go through the fire. Yeah, I want a racing stripe on my iPhone. Okay, so this was one of my favorite things that was in the Sky Mall magazine. It, I I can't even explain it, okay? You're just going to have to see it for yourself. Okay. It's for people that misplace their cell phones. So, you you wear a humongous strap on your wrist. Which has your cell phone connected to it at all times. Um, what? And my favorite, my favorite part about this is the line um, right here. You can't read it, but it says, "It says our unique solution to the misplaced cell phone, and it can also make a fashion statement." Dog in a bag. More mind reading technology. Oh boy. This ad's always in here. And it always makes me laugh my ass off. It's supposed to train dogs by by like sitting like a, a really like high pitched sound, and it's called the Dog Dazer. So here's the picture of the dog. Is that the most crazy friggin' dog you've ever seen? I don't know what it is with this magazine and shoes that have springs in them. First there was ceiling cat, then there was tall cat. Now there's plant cat. Yes. It's about time they made a wallet that fits the curve of your pocket. Now I'll have all the room in my pocket to fit other things in there that I normally do, like an another wallet. I think this bitch is dead. Okay, this is one of the dumbest things in the magazine and I'll explain why once you see it. The dog doorbell. And it says, train your pet not to scratch at the door. Well, you know how like when your dog wants to get in and it'll scratch at the door and if you don't let it come in, then it just scratches at the door more? Okay, so you give it a doorbell. So now the dog is just gonna keep going, bring dong, bring dong, bring dong, bring dong, until you open the freaking door. So it's even worse. Especially if the noise is like a, a dog going, woof, woof, let me in, woof, woof. Mystery guitar man? Okay, so there's one thing that I, I think I would buy from the Sky Mall. <laughs> it's like a blender for your water. <laughs> it's a car booster seat for your small dog so it could be safe and so it could have a wonderful view out the window. It's a fucking dog! Yo, yo, I put my iPhone in my jacket. Isn't that clever? When I get old and I'm gonna be in some sort of emergency, I don't care if it's gonna save my life. I am not 
gonna wear this big ass thing around my neck. It's not gonna happen. I'll, I'm just gonna die. Look, it's another shoe with a spring in it. This ad claims to give you a facelift without any knives or needles. You just have to look like you've been in a serious car accident. God, that stuff is so bad! Oh, Sky Mall. Oh, God. All right, if you guys ever go on a plane, check it out. There's always new stuff in there, and it's always so bad. Anyway, leave me suggestions for what you think I should do next for Ian's board down below. That's why I'm pointing down here. You're probably like, why is he pointing? Because the comments are down there. Leave one. See ya. <laughs> that was the worst ending ever. Oh, hey. So welcome to another episode of Ian is Bored. Um, caught me in the middle of dinner. So it's come to my attention that somebody else has stolen my haircut. This time it's Fantasia from American Idol. Um, I'll put, put a picture right here, or right here. I don't, I don't know what where there's space, somewhere over here. Um, anyway, so then it made me think, how many celebrities are stealing my freaking hair? Damn, this is good. So I decided to find out just how many celebrities were actually stealing my hair. So I asked you guys on Twitter uh, if you guys knew of any celebrities that stole my hair. So I found out that there was a ton of celebrities that were either copying the hair I have right now or the hair I had way back in the day when it was like, bleh, big like helmet, you know. The following people are stealing my hair. Tao Okamoto, Ashton Kutcher, Ellen DeGeneres, Scott Bayo. or Bot, uh, yeah, probably Bayo. Justin Bieber, Pete Wentz, Zac Efron, The Beatles, Jesus, Jack from Jack in the Box, what the hell, man? Based the whole commercial off of my bowl haircut, Anton Chigurh from No Country from Old Men. I don't care, so what? It's not a real celebrity, it's just a fictional character. They totally got that hair from me. Kelly Osbourne, Jack McBayer, Agnes Dane? Agnes Dayen? Ian. Her, Ian's in her name, so that's gotta be it. Whenever you guys are having like Mexican food, do you ever mix like the rice with your beans? That's what I do. It looks like a big pile of crap, but it's actually very tasty. Okay, so I've had enough of these celebrities stealing my hair. I think what they're doing is they're watching my Ian is Bored episodes on Friday and they're being like, oh, well there we go. There's the next big hairstyle. I'm gonna steal that. So you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm moving Ian is Bored to Monday. Psh, take that, celebrities. Try to steal my hair now. So. Ah! So good! What's the video on Monday, you ask? Some of you guys are gonna like it. Ever since I've been doing Ina's board, I've been asking you guys for suggestions and the most requested thing by far is chat roulette. You guys want me to make a chat roulette video? Bam, you're gonna get it. That's right, I said it. I'm making a chat roulette video on Monday. So look out for that. I like all these hand signals I'm making. I guess I'm just that excited. So I will see you guys Monday with little chat roulette video. Now if you'll excuse me, I got a huge ass thing to eat.